Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another DIY. This time we are starting on the first birthday party prep for my daughter's birthday in February, which is just a few months away, but I know it's gonna go by super, super quick. So I wanna try and get started on it now. If you see my last do you hear her screaming in the background? <laughs> If you've seen my last DIY video, we took some faux flowers from the Dollar Tree and created a really, really cool wall decor slash tic-tac-toe game. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I think it was pretty creative. I'll link it down below. But we just used the flowers, just the actual flower part of those faux flowers in that project. And then I saved the stems because it turns out that this is gonna be an awesome tool for today's project. So today we are gonna be making coral and I have seen people do it using wire and then like they, they wrapped all the wire together to create like a really cool just a bunch of, you know, wavy little stems to create coral. But these guys, are perfect not only because they're thicker but because they're already bundled together so let's get started by the way this super cute necklace of mine is currently on sale on my website so be sure to check it out because it is more than half off it was our collaboration with Rebecca Minkoff it is definitely one of my favorite pieces you can wear it at different lengths and then there's just five individual pendants that all have different meanings from strength and wisdom and protection and things like that. So I'll link my website in the description below as well. Now back to the project. So to start this project, we already removed the flowers from our last DIY. So now we just have to remove all of these leaves like so, super easy. until we just have the stems. So now each one has six of these stems. We want to just bend these stems kind of randomly to give it that organic shape. Now that our glue gun is nice and hot, we're just gonna bend all of these outside stems further away from the center one so that we can start gluing this and these other stems won't get in the way. Having done this a few times already now, I found that it's best to cover the entire stem all the way around and then work your way up. So instead of just doing it one side and then another side and then another side, you wanna do it when the glue is still hot so then when you're piping more alongside it, they meld together and it looks a lot smoother. So it definitely doesn't need to be perfect. Again, you want it to be very organic looking. So I'm kind of just going in and intentionally, you know, giving it some extra lumps here and there. And you also want to do your best to cover the entire stem. This project definitely does take up a lot of hot glue. If you were to do it with just wire, as I mentioned earlier, you probably wouldn't need as much, but since these stems are thicker, you definitely need more to cover the stem all the way around. But honestly, I like it with a lot of glue. I like it nice and thick. I think it looks a lot better that way. want to try to avoid doing a lot of this kind of motion and creating those thin lines of glue because those definitely will show when you go to painting this in the end. So we have our first stem done and now we just have to continue with the rest of these stems. I'm just going to leave them off to the side and continue to glue this way and then afterwards I can always move it back in place. All right, so now we have the whole thing glued. Oh, let me just touch this up right here. 
And because I'm gonna be making a ton of these for my daughter's birthday, I wanna give it, you know, some variation. So I want some of them to be thicker than others. So I already have a second one here and I'm actually going to combine the two. Let me just put one down for now. I am going to bend all of these stems just on one side. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. Like so. And then I'm going to join them together. Then I have these two little rubber bands on hand. And I am just going to rubber band these to give it a little bit more security. Put one at the top and then one towards the bottom here. Now to cover that all up, we're gonna give it another coat of hot glue, maybe like a third of the way down the stem I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to be displaying these, but they are going to be stuck in something, so I don't need to hot glue the whole thing. But let's just go ahead and give it some hot glue. You want to make sure you get it in all of those little crevices, fill in those little gaps. If I didn't say it already, you want to make sure that you have extra hot glue sticks just already by your side so they're easily accessible and you don't have to go, you know, running to look for them in the middle of this DIY. So we're connecting the hot glue to where it ended on the stems. This is just going to continue that organic shape all the way down to this main stem. I think that'll do for now. If I need to, I can always go back and add more glue and then repaint it. So I'm also going to go in in between these stems and then add hot glue there also. Just to fill in those gaps, you want to look like they're all joined together. All right, I think that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna remove all these extra little webs. Doesn't that already look pretty cool? And then we're gonna go ahead, take it outside and give it a couple coats of spray paint. And here is the final product. Look at how cool that is. So these are the three that I've done so far. I was thinking, you know, I wanted to do a whole pastel color story, hence the white and pink as well. I'm not finishing a base for it right now because I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to display these during the birthday party. I have a bigger plan in mind for her birthday party. So you're going to have to make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you can make sure to see how it all turns out in the end at her birthday party. Again, it's still in February, so it's still a little while away. But I think it's going to be super awesome once it's all together. And now I just need to do like a ton more coral. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.